Chief Baker on the list of people who need to turn in their badge on soap operas, y'all. He on the list. Because how first Stephanie was like, yeah, she did it, she did it. And that's why he hauled her in for questioning or whatever. Now, Luna done told him that her mama confessed to her. I said, so you just going to take her word for it? I said, look, at this point, turn in your badge. Turn in your badge. But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review of Life of Chester for the Bold and Beautiful, August 29th, 2024. Okay, y'all. So first thing first, let me know down below what y'all thought of today's episode. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that on tomorrow's episode that the truth is revealed. The truth is revealed because at this point, come on now. It's been going on for too long now. We're going to be in a new month. <laughs> but yeah, on today's episode, we're going to start with Luna. Oh, storytelling tale. <laughs> storytelling tale. <laughs> she done told Chief Baker. I thought she was going to pull out some evidence or something. She told me some, she confessed it to me. Then when she went back to the apartment where Stephanie at, she said, sorry, y'all, I had to cut that part. But she had said, when she went to talk to Steffi, she said that she, her mama confessed to her before she got arrested. I said, girl, really? I said, really? I said, come on now, Chief Baker. Come on, use your brain now. <laughs> use your brain. <laughs> I said, because the moment she went in there, he thought that she was saying, you know, that she, her mama is innocent. After that, she proceeded to say, you know, okay. It was because, you know, she wanted the life with Bill and everything. And her story, it's it's some holes in her story. It's some holes in her story. I'm like, come on, Chief Baker. Come on now. But, uh, yeah, he believed in her because he was like, okay, are you willing to sign a statement that says you saw that she confessed to you? And I said, that's what they be doing? I said, you take people word for it? I said, people be lying. How you know people be telling the truth? But that's when she went back to the apartment and she basically told Steffi her plan and what she did and she told Chief Baker what her mama did and she told me and all this stuff before she got arrested and I said now why would she say that? I said it's holes in her story. It's holes in her story and first Steffi was like let me y'all think about your cousin and all this other stuff. I said she ain't trying to hear none of that. She feel like you trying to, you gonna interfere with what she got going on Bill. I said Bill don't fall for it. Don't fall for it Bill. And he did not tell Poppy what was going on. He hinted that something was going on that she was acting out or whatever but he didn't fully say what she did. I said, come on now. I hope this don't drag on to the end of next week, y'all. Poppy and Bill. Poppy and Bill. So Bill stops by to see Poppy or whatever. And she's like, I didn't do this. I'm innocent. And Luna told me that, you know, y'all took two tests or whatever. She was like, I didn't do it. I, I don't know how it ended up like that or whatever. But Bill, he doesn't know what to believe. He's still over here trying to protect Luna. So I said, oh, I, oh, I told her already that I'm not going to abandon her or leave her or whatever. I said, you need to. But Poppy was telling Bill that she loved him or whatever. And I said, lady, lady, y'all know what I said at first. Because she used to be like, oh, I'm in love with you. I was always in love with you. I was in love with you from the moment we shared this and that. I was like, and he didn't say it back. But then he started saying about his love. But he would always mention Luna. Um, you gave me a daughter and this and that. And I said, yep, red flag, red flag. And he definitely out of there now. Finally, finally. So Lee told Finn not to go by the apartment. I said, no, no. He spoke me fine at her. <laughs> but um, she was saying, you know, Luna not there. She had bills or either it forced the creation. So he's like, okay, I'm not going to go by there. But I'm so glad. I'm so glad that Poppy told him to stop by there. Oh, I forgot about that. Poppy stole, he stopped by to visit Poppy. And she was saying she innocent uh, and asking him, can he stop by the apartment to see, you know, if he sees anything that could potentially uh, clear her. I said, he going to see a lot if he go over there. He just better watch his back. Better watch his back. Ridge and Brooke. Okay, so they was talking about Hope. Um, Ridge was saying basically if Hope hadn't kissed Finn, none of this would be happening. He was saying how something about the business where she didn't check in. So like Finn, Ridge is worried, but Brooke was saying, you know, it's okay. She just needs a space. She'll be back. She'll be back or whatever. Her and Finn going to work things out, all this other stuff. <laughs> so I'm wondering, you know, because Lee said either Luna is at Forced to Creation or at Bills. So I'm wondering, is he going to stop by there? And that's when Ridge is going to say he hasn't heard from her. Then he's going to stop by Spencer's uh, place and then see her phone and then go to the apartment or what. But yeah, I'm hoping tomorrow be a good episode, y'all. I think that's all that happened. Let me make sure. I already said Bill stopped by to see Poppy. Reach blaming hope. He's worried about Steffi. Yeah, that's all that happened. Let me know y'all thoughts on this episode down below. Stay tuned for the next review. Until next time, deuces. Have a good rest of the day and be safe.